Boris Johnson is out, and Liz Truss, former UK Foreign Secretary, is now the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. She met with Queen Elizabeth at Balmoral this morning, who invited her to form a government. The Wall Street Journal writes this. Wish the new Prime Minister luck, because she's going to need it. The country is facing double-digit inflation, possible recession, an energy crisis that is very deep. And the new leader began to address what lies before her today. As strong as the storm may be, I know that the British people are stronger. I am confident that together we can ride out the storm. We can rebuild our economy and we can become the modern, brilliant Britain that I know we can be. Joining me now, Piers Morgan, host of Piers Morgan Uncensored. Piers, great to see you again. Uh, you had a very interesting statement that you put out on your show, Uncensored, really saying what a dire uphill situation Liz Truss faces. How do you think she did today? And is she the Maggie Thatcher of the future that uh, some are led to believe she will be? Well, she certainly has been portraying herself as the Maggie Thatcher of the future. I have serious reservations that she's in the same league as Margaret Thatcher. Uh, but she is where she is. She is the prime minister. I wish her well. I want her to succeed. The problem, Martha, is that Britain right now is a basket case. We have multiple problems, massive multiple problems. There's a war in Europe. There's a residual pandemic. There's massive strain on our NHS health system, which is creaking at the seams. We have roaring inflation, prices of food and energy going through the roof, and people are poor, they're desperate, they're fearful, a violent crime is surging, and you put it all together. You know, we even had a story last week that raw sewage is being pumped out into our coastal areas, mm -hmm. as if we couldn't cope with any, anything uh, worse than that. We literally have have excrement now filling our country. Uh, and you put it all together, I did this monologue, it's really caught fire online, sure had several has. million people watch it now, because I think it captured a nerve. And the nerve is Britain is in a shambolic state, and we need proper leadership. And the question is, is Liz Truss the right person? I have serious doubts, but we will see. Well, Piers, let me ask you this, because, you know, Margaret Thatcher, obviously a great conservative leader. She was all about unleashing industry, allowing business to, you know, get out in front, cutting taxes. Um, there's talk of drilling in the North Sea, of fracking in the North Sea. Is she going to be bold in these ways or not? What are you, what, what are you picking up so far? Well, I think she's talking a great game, but she's only got two years until the next election right. here. And she's never going to get any of this stuff on energy done before then. All she can do is really put a cap on energy prices right now for the public and try and buy herself some time. But all the stuff about fracking and so on should have been done years ago. Britain has become ridiculously over-reliant on foreign energy, uh, like a lot of countries in Europe. And as a result, we're now in a very parlous state. Uh, you know, people in Britain who are on very small incomes are facing gigantic energy bills from this month onward, uh, two, three, four times what they're used to paying. They just can't afford it, Martha. So mm -hmm. Liz Truss can talk about the future, but she's got a ticking clock now to the next election. So she's not going to have much time, and she's going to have to move very, very quickly, I think, to sort out these problems. And we don't know, do we, what's going to happen in Ukraine? That could get a lot worse before it gets any better. So I think that uh, she's inherited what we would call in Britain a terrible hospital pass, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been uh, her entirely uh, her own she wanted this job, and as I said in my monologue last night, if you want it and you promise you can fix it, you better damn well fix it because Britain needs you to do urgent surgery to heal the problems we have. Well, it would be interesting to know what she and the Queen discussed this morning. They met at Balmoral instead of the usual uh, request to start a government that happens at Buckingham Palace. But she was standing there with her cane, accepting her 14th prime minister uh, that, that she has gone through this process of kissing the hands with. What did you think about that, Piers? 
Well, again, you know, you and I, were, we were outside the palace for the Platinum Jubilee yes. and it was a remarkable event and she's a remarkable woman and she remains a remarkable woman, the longest serving monarch in the world uh, and certainly the longest we've had. Uh, so I have just un, untold admiration for Queen Elizabeth, but she is 96. She's been in very frail health and the whole future of the monarchy will be in question when the Queen is sadly no longer with us. So that again could be another huge problem that Liz Truss has to deal with. And I hate to speak here about the Queen in that way, but it's obvious she's very old and she's very frail. Uh, and we have to consider the possibility, first time in my lifetime, of potentially another uh, King, as it will be in the case of Prince Charles. Um, plus you have, of course, all the mayhem of Meghan and Harry flying in and causing untold new damage to the relationships with Charles, with William, with the Queen. Uh, you know, it's a tough time for Her Majesty. Uh, you've got Andrew simmering in the background after all the scandalous behaviour he's been up to. What's he going to do? He's her favourite son, apparently. But she can't get him any, anywhere back into public life. So the Queen's been hit with all these problems. And, of course, the, the, the person that used to always be there for her was Prince Philip, her rock of, of more than 70 years, and he's now sadly gone. So she's on her own up there in Balmoral. Uh, and these are unprecedented times. She's never uh, had a, a new prime minister come up there rather than meet them in London. So, you know, we're into uncharted waters, Martha. It's a, it feels like to me that Britain is in a, a very tense position right now, that all the tenets of security and safety and comfort that we're used to are all at risk at the same time. And that's why I think so many people are feeling jittery at the moment. Yeah, uh, you, you called it out it, it perfectly, and I think that is why it's resonating so much with so many people. Uh, there are very high stakes in your country and in ours here, and it is a, a time of great consequence. So we'll see if Liz Truss can, can step up mm. to the plate and can make some serious changes and some transformation that could be really beneficial. Uh, we, we, will, we hope she succeeds, and we look forward to hearing more yeah. uh, of your coverage of it, Piers. It's always great to be with you. Thanks so much. Great to see you. We'll see you soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.